Hello everybody, this is Andrew Garchik, hailing from DP Metal in Clifton, New Jersey. I am an application engineer for Design Point, been for about uh, a little over two years now, and I'm very excited to let you guys know about a new update. We are 3D printing our first part in pure copper. It's a new material from Mark Forge. Uh, currently, they have 17-4 stainless steel, A2, D2, and H13 tool steels, Inconel 625, and now as of today, pure copper. So, what's cool about copper? <clears throat> well, one, I'd like to point out, this is not an alloyed copper, this is a pure copper, so it has really great thermal and electrical conductivity. And because of that, it makes for a great heat sink, and that's what we're printing today. Uh, it's one of the top applications for, for 3D printing copper. So basically, if you have some electronics that are producing a lot of heat, then this heat sink will move the heat away from your electronics so it doesn't overheat, and it works great because copper is so thermally conductive. Other applications uh, could be in the automotive industry. Copper is widely used for welding arms, again, because of its electrical and thermal conductivity. It's a great material for that. And let me also show you guys the spool up in the top here. This is where the material lives. Let's see if I can get a good shot here so the camera works a little hard to do. Uh, but yeah, on the left-hand side here, you can see we have the copper. And if we want to put a new material on, like 17-4 stainless or 8-2 tool steel, you just simply uh, change the spool. So it's very easy to change from one material to another. And let me just give you guys a shot of where I work. This is DP Metal. We've got our Mark II there. Uh, our X7 actually goes behind me, but it's on the road right now with a colleague of mine. We have um, some great application setups along the wall here showing how this technology can be used, not just our metal system, but our composite system as well. And over in this direction, we've got our center furnace, we've got center one, wish I had center two, but uh, <laughs> you know, got center one, which is pretty cool. That's actually running right now. And over here we have my little workstation and we got a little wash station, which washes the parts after they're done printing. So basically the way this works is that you print the part on the metal X. It is partly copper, it's, it's, it's copper powder, wax and binder, and then when the part is finished printing, you've got what's called your green part. So you take your green part here, which is kind of like clay or wax, and it goes into your wash station then. As you can see here, sorry about the camera work, trying to make this work and the part washes and the wax is removed. And then finally the part goes into the center furnace. So it's a three step process and you center it. And what do you get in the end? Let me show you guys a green part first. So this is a, a I just called a brown part. This has been um, washed in the wash station already. This is a, a bottle opener. And then once it's actually centered, well, then it looks like this, right? It looks like uh, metal. All the wax and binders is removed, and you're left with, uh, in this case, just 17-4 stainless, which you can weld, you can finish, you can polish, you can do anything you want. In the end, there's no other ingredients. It's just 17-4 stainless, so. Pretty cool stuff going on over here. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or if you think this might be something that uh, your company might be able to take advantage of, we'd be happy to send some information or even have you come here and tour the facility. Thanks so much and have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.